Data React, Dr. Ben Carson, a 2016 Republican presidential candidate and author of One Nation. Good to see you tonight, sir, and your reaction to the Supreme Court's decision today. Well, I, I wasn't uh, surprised that the four liberal judges uh, went the way they did, but I was a little surprised that uh, Roberts and Kennedy uh, didn't look at the effect that this law has had on the country, the deleterious effects, uh, and, and make a different decision. You know, the reason that I have been so vociferously against uh, this act is because it violates the whole tenor of America. America was supposed to be a place that was up for and by the people, and the government is supposed to be there to facilitate you know, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And what this does, it, the government comes along and says, I don't care what you people think, it really doesn't matter. This is what we're doing, and if you don't like it, too bad. And you know, at some point, I was hoping that maybe uh, our Supreme Court would recognize that you know, this is America, and this is the way we do things, not in a dictatorial style. And now what happens? Because, you know, this, this law was rammed through by Harry Reid. The only reason Scott Brown was elected to the U.S. Senate was because he was going to be the vote to stop Obamacare, and he, and he won. But then Harry Reid changed the rules. He stuffed it through. It was challenged twice. Twice the U.S. Supreme Court upheld it. And now the president says today it is now woven into the fabric of American society and it will not be undone. Well, uh, he's certainly welcome to say that. But, you know... I, and I think probably a lot of other people, are going to continue to look for a better way. The fact of the matter is there are some very excellent alternatives. We have to settle on which is the best one. And it has to be very clear and plain to the American people so that they actually want it. They recognize that it's going to be so much better and should not be something that they have to be forced into. And we're going to be talking a lot more about that. It's going to be an issue uh, in 2016. And uh, hopefully uh, Congress will work with the uh, Republican uh, candidate uh, who is running in 2016 mm -hmm. to come up with something very solid. Last question. Need a quick answer. Do you think this improves the chances of a Republican to win the White House in 2016? Yes, I actually do. Uh, the crowds that, that I've been seeing are very, very much against this. And this is America again, and I, I think the majority of people actually are against this. Dr. Carson, thanks for being here. My pleasure, thank you.